Hello, and welcome to our 35th C++ lesson, and this one is just on number systems. First of all, please note this is going to be more of a theory lesson rather than an actual coding lesson, but it is important nevertheless that you get the idea of number systems. So, first of all, we're going to talk about our number system, and this is the decimal system. So, that basically means it's based around the number 10. So, let's just think about it. Let's take a number, for example, 187. It's a bit of an odd number, but that's the number we're going to use. 187. If you think about it, this is 1 times 100. Add 8 times 10, because it's in the 10's column. Add 7 times 1, because that's in the 1's column. And that makes up 187. Now, you can also write this as 7 times 10 to the naught, 8 times 10 to the 1, and 1 times 10 to the 2. So that will also work. So this is pretty much exactly the same as the above. However, we're going to use the similar thing for octal binary and hexadecimal number systems which we're going to talk about later on. So think as decimal as like this. It's being times by 10 to the power of something because 10 is the way our number system works. So what if we we're going to change to a different number system? For example, the octal system. Well, the octal system is based around the number 8. So what if we wanted 187 in octal form? Well, basically it's a very similar thing. You'll have to do the calculations yourself, but basically, 187 to the 10, well not to the 10, sorry, in the decimal system, which I'm just going to show by having 10 as a subscript type thing, and that works out as 2 times 8 to the 2, add 7 times 8 to the 1, add... 3 times 8 to the 0. Now there are ways of working this out and how you get this, but basically that's what it works out as, and if you do all these calculations, you will see that adds up to 187 in our decimal system. So the way we then figure out what the actual number is from this, just as we did up here, 187, you just get these first digits, so 273. So that means 187 in the decimal system is equal to 273 in the octal system. And we can represent octals in C++ by just putting a zero in front of it. So, for example, if we wanted to output 187, but we want to write it in octal form, what we would do is we would just, for example, see out 0 to 7, 3. And that would output 187, because it just translates it to decimal form. Okay, next we're going to look at a different uh, number system called binary. Now the chances are you've heard this before. So binary is basically how computers count. So we have 10 fingers, which is most likely why our number system is based on 10. Just think of it like computers have two fingers. They can either have a 1, or a zero. Because if you think about it, our number system is based on 10, the octal system is based on 8, binary is based on 2. So this number pretty much means you can't have this amount in one column. So we can't have 10 in one column, we can only have 9. We can't have 8 in one column in octal, we can only have 7. We can't have 2 in one column in binary, we can only have 1. So with binary, you can either have a 1 or a 0. That is the only values you can have, either 1 or 0. Let me just get my notes on binary. And if we want to get 187 in binary, again, there's words of working, words, there's ways of working this out. But what it is, is it's 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Yes, I had to write that down. I didn't memorize that, which is why I was looking for it then. And this is because of the following. 
So 187 decimal is 1 times 2 to the 7. Add 0 times 2 to the 6. Add 1 times 2 to the 5. Add 1 times 2 to the 5. Oops, sorry, 4. Add 1 times 2 to the 3. Add 0 times 2 to the 2. Add 1 times 2 to the 1. Add 1 times 2 to the 0. And if you do all that, that will add up to 187, which is our target number. Now, as far as I know, there isn't actually a way of showing binary in C++, but binary comes into all different uses in different topics. But binary is usually related to computing, although it can be used in other ways. Right, so binary based around 2, octal based around 8, and now we're going to go into hexadecimal. Now, the octal system used to be used for a lot of things. That's now almost completely been replaced by the hexadecimal system. And the hexadecimal system has a base of 16. And this means we can only have up to 15 in a column. So, hang on, you're probably freaking out right now. 15 in a column? How can we have 15 in one column? That clearly takes up one, two columns. Now, the way it does this is 10 is A, 11 is B, thir uh, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 is F. So, happy now? F, one column. And that represents 15. Now, again, we're just going to do 187, because that's the number we've been using so far. And we're going to do it with a base of 16. So, 187 in the decimal system is the same as B, B in the hexadecimal system. Now, uh, usually what you do with hexadecimal is you'll give it the 0x prefix. So, 0x, B, B would be how we'd represent that in hexadecimal. And that equals this. And if you want the calculation for it, it is because b times 16 to the 1 and b times 16 to the 0. And that equals 187 in the decimal system. And we can show this in C++ by, obviously, we can use C out. And all we do is give it the 0x prefix, or ox prefix, and then we just write the hexadecimal. So, for example, b, b. And that would output, that's supposed to be the top half of a semicolon there, that would output 187 if you put that in a C++ program. So that's the end of this lesson. We've covered binary, which has a base of 2 and has zeros and 1s. We've covered octal, which has a base of 8 and has all the way up to 7. We've covered our number system. I'm pretty sure you knew that before this lesson. And we've covered the hexadecimal system, which has all the way up to 16, I mean 15, sorry, with F. And remember, this has the 0x prefix, and this has the 0 prefix in C++. So that's the end. Have fun with these number systems. They'll come in use all over the place now you know about them, and you'll start seeing them everywhere. So have fun with them and have a nice day.